Okay, so probably one of the reasons why you got a dog was to walk them, right? Um, and part of that walking might be um, partly or even completely, depending on where you live in the world, on leash. And I have to say, having a dog, whether they are, um, for me, uh, right stuck at your side or whether they're just mm -hmm. loosely walking, for me, having a dog that's kind of nice on leash, mm -hmm. it makes a difference, yeah. isn't it? Like not being towed all over the place, not mm -hmm. being, so a dog who wants to hang out with you and at the same time, not having to constantly yeah. uh, do this because I think there is a place where people will constantly be, be, be doing this. For me, having a dog that wants to hang out with you is a nice thing. Yeah, absolutely. And so what we thought we'd do is we'd talk a little bit about the considerations, the thing, the boxes you need to make Make sure you check and also we've created a step-by-step -step program that tells you exactly how to do it um, and um, and how to get really from where you are right now to that picture that probably you imagined when you got a dog in the first place now the sorts of things that we play yes they are with your dog's daily dinner you're ready bud he says i'm not quite awake for that yet <laughs> i'm thinking that we're just going for a little stroll and um, are with your dog's dinner so we can be doing games where our dogs are matching us mirroring us mm -hmm. and actually at the same time can also be something you fit into your every day, right Tom? Yeah, absolutely. And so I guess the first box that we need to check that we have checked is actually, we've got this pot of value that our dog wakes up every day with. It's called their daily food I think allowance. I've got most of it in here, <laughs> have, Tom, I'll be honest. Pot of value. I've got a pot of value, Eliza's um, pot this is. And what we need to think about is actually spending that in our proximity, whether that be feeding it to mouth, but probably more exciting for our dogs is actually catching, is actually, and the, the level of variety and surprise and the way that we deliver that. And you can do that wherever you are, right? Wherever you might be working with your dog and, and you might want to work with your dog. Now, the most important thing is actually it can work for each and every dog, right, yeah. Tom? So actually, this is something that works for each and every dog. Yeah. This is something that Tokyo, for example, is not the most foodie dog. Mm -hmm. And yet, we've managed to, oh, it's a nice catch, we've managed to make this work for him. Yeah. Uh, we've managed to make this work for Labradors, Retrievers, mm -hmm. Poodles, yeah. Staffordshire Bull Terriers, you name it, yeah. we've made it work for all breeds, right? Absolutely. And the second box that you need to make sure that you've checked is sometimes we leave the house and our dog's brain isn't actually with us, right? You know, we, we, he's already thinking about being at the park or racing or chasing. Or just well. wanting to be off lead, yeah. right? And so what we Good need boy. to do is make sure that our dog's brain is in the moment, is there. And the way, the strategies that we might think about to do that will be popping the lead on, stepping out the front door, and then just feeding for being in your presence. And then maybe going back in the house again so that your dog's like, oh, actually, you know, we're not anticipating this crazy, cool adventure where the only goal is to get off lead as quickly and as possible. Let's be honest, and I think this is a massive goal of, of the training program, is that actually when we let our dog's leads off, actually they still kind of want to hang out with us yeah. now that might be that you can see he might go off for a sniff he might go off for a wee but he's not looking to leg it yeah. all the way down that way tokyo hi and um, he's actually hello mm -hmm. he's actually quite a cool calm collected chap who really knows where the value's at and i yeah. think that's quite important that actually the value is with us the yeah. value is here lead walking and being on lead and actually hanging out together it's a powerful concept and it all comes in a very easy package, yeah. right? Now, the third reason and box that you need to kind of check and make sure that you've considered in, you know, working on this and transforming this struggle is actually how your dog responds to distractions. Because sometimes our dogs might be walking nicely on lead and then a distraction happens like a squirrel or a rabbit or just another dog or seeing a person across the road. In fact, let's, and let's it's, walk, let's yeah, see, let's see. Pull, 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 it's get there as quickly as possible to that thing because your dog has decided they're going to it. And this is that concept of teaching your dog that some things, they're none of their business. And I think sometimes owners get a little bit kind of worried about that might mean that we've got to tell our dogs off we've got to deprive our dogs of things we've got to tell and them no ultimately we still want our dogs to be dogs yeah. right we still want him to be a dog yeah so the most important thing is that when they're on lead they're connected they're working with us we've got a dog who is effectively if they see a distraction they know to check in with us equally when we let them off lead they're not zooming off in the distance yeah. they're not racing to see the cow in that field down there they're not over in the other direction over there looking to greet the neighbor's labrador actually they're still our dog proximity yeah. is still there and that kind of for me is whether we have him um on lead or whether we have him off lead hi bud um and actually good lad um, 
um, actually for me it's an important concept either way and I'm, I think this is another really important thing to mention at this point Tom we're not looking for our dogs to be robots no. and we're not looking for constant feeding here we actually want a dog who is loose and it's nice, but it's not a constant battle, yeah, right? Like it's not absolutely. a it's not a constant treat fest, but it's also not a constant battle in the other direction. Absolutely. So you've got three boxes that you need to check. The first one is proximity, a dog that wants to be close and are spending value in them being close. The second thing that we then need to think about is making sure that their brain is actually in their skull, that they're, that they're with us, that they're not thinking about, you know, 10 miles up ahead. And the third thing is sometimes distractions are none of your business and you should just walk nicely on lead, whatever. And that doesn't mean telling them off. That doesn't mean using horrible tools. That's actually all achieved through games. And we show you exactly that in our Stop Pulling on Leash mini course. So many Many of you would have actually um, been through that program um, and played the games. You watch the video, you play the game with your dog, you start to see things changing, you start to see those little clues that things are getting better. And if you haven't yet gone through that program, then below this YouTube video, there will be a link that you can find out more about it and start to see the results with your dog too. Remember Game Changers, whatever the dog owning struggle, there's a game for that. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel. And check out our new 25 day online dog training challenge. Watch the videos, play the games, transform your dog owning struggles. As a loyal YouTube subscriber, you can get a 70% discount through the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the number one most transformational dog training podcast on iTunes and Spotify, the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more live teaching, video content and free training using the links in the description. Yeah. <laughs>